Coach, tell me about that Q-Stars display on the project bike. No one has much to say about it. Okay, there is a lot about it on the project website, but can you give us a short overview? Yeah, sure. I'm using Q-Stars uh, LTQ 6000 uh, GPS loggers, and it collects data via GPS, speed, position, g-forces, and lap times. Uh, it also comes with uh, free software uh, to read all of these data. That's awesome, just like the MotoGP bikes. Oh yeah, and you analyze and compare the lines you're taking on the track on your own computer. Um, I'm using these data to coach students in the Superbike Coach Track Drill classes all the time, and it's very effective. Wow, so you let each student borrow one LTQ? No, man, this baby is mine. Uh, students can use the Q-Stars BTQ 1000. All right, fair enough. Oh yeah. Uh, so what's the difference between them? Well, the LTQ has a display um, and it shows me split times and lap times right away. Uh, the coolest feature is that the entire display turns green if a split time was fast or red if it was slower. So you, it's, it's just enough to let you know what you just did uh, instead of letting you do the big math while writing. That sounds pretty cool. Okay. Can, you, can you show us some stuff about it? Oh, sure I do. I wanted to show you how, where, and why I'm installing an LTQ6000 QSTARS GPS data logger. Watch it. Alright, I have chosen this spot here on the dashboard. Actually, it's covering the speed. Na na na. But that's fine because my LTQ uh, also shows the speed. KMH or MPH. Uh, via GPS, so no worries, okay? Um, I cut it this holder here with a simple scissor exactly the way I needed it. So there's enough contact patch and it's right on the spot where I can have a good view on it. Pretty cool. I love it. The good part of this uh, holder is that you even can uh, put it on a windscreen or on a other flat surface. You know, so uh, you have a lot of a uh, lot of options with this holder. All right, has a good seat. Here we go. show you how it works um, or how to work with the QSTARS Q Racing software um, reading the data logs from uh, the LTQ or BTQ 1000 uh, GPS data loggers. Um, I wanted to show you uh, what options you have and where the benefit is uh, in all of that. Um, let's start the software. I already downloaded um, the software or the, the data logs from a BTQ from a student of mine, Sherry Man. The software is asking automatically if you want to set the split times and the uh, starting uh, line where, where the software starts calculating the lap times. So right now it basically don't know anything. Uh, we start with the start and finish line set it up here and now the software calculated uh, the lap times and we can go for analysis okay so here you see um, all the lap times line up uh, seven laps the best laps are shown here so interesting is when we start we go back to beacon when we start setting up split times where where you really can see what, what the speed and time it took to get through a section, that's where it becomes beneficial. Um, so let's do this. We set the first split time here, let's say here. That's the first. We, we can actually, I think, up to 25 split times. But we don't, make a, we don't want to make it more complicated as it is. 
and we do the second split time here um, and that's basically our third split time um, anyway we go back to analysis and then we'll see that the software add another feature which is the best theoretical time um, based on the lap times or split times uh, Min was doing, the software is putting together the best split times. So he did this lap time, but not in one lap. Uh, so in the theoretical lap time is 124, 215, so almost a 23. Rolling lap time was a 124, 483. That is, I, I actually like that feature the most. Okay. All right, here are the speeds also in the different uh, splits. Let's go back to the track where I can choose the fastest lap. It's the 124, 622. And I can choose uh, whatever, whatever else uh, lap time I want to I want to see the slowest one or the closest one just to see the difference but I'll show you this later I just want to show you here the, the features what you're seeing here in, in that lighter in that brighter green is the g-forces the software is calculating based on the g-forces that this here must be the braking uh, here again here again I don't know what happened there and here again and you see that uh, Sherwick is doing lots of trail braking which is very good what we taught him to do yeah this here is very high speed pretty much high speed yeah and that's that's what the what the software is doing it's calculating the g-forces and it's thinking this must be breaking and then it changed a little bit the colors okay let's compare to another lap let's say one second slower so the, the second lap is in orange the faster lap is in green and we can zoom it down very close and there you see big differences in the line already so he made definitely more speed in here. You see, you see the the trail braking is way more, and you see here the speed difference already. It's uh, uh, 43 miles an hour, and on the same point, nearly the same point, it's about 41 miles per hour just in one turn. So there's a there's a big difference already. I think this is. Pretty much, oh yeah, here's another big difference. He, he wrote a wider line here, brings it back together here. So he made a, he made pretty much a, a late apex here and an early apex there. So he was playing around a little bit, I guess. And that's the outcome, you see. So he could, he could build up more speed on this line, but. He is in a better position for the last turn, which is here. So this brought him on a wide outside line, and he's losing all the speed on here to here. So this is uh, 56, mile, 56 miles an hour, and this is 59 miles an hour. So and this adds up on the whole straight till its end. Okay. Yeah, and he was playing too. He is going this time was it the orange is a wide outside line, but it's still slower. So yeah, it's actually a wonder that he made this lap not even faster as the other one or or pretty much the same. So we can analyze where is the difference or maybe he could do the 124 lap actually way faster what happened 
that you better, oh, I, I think I found it. It's right here. He made a wide outside line. He went almost in the dirt, I guess, right there. So even though he rode almost in the dirt, right there, it's a 49 miles per hour, and here is a 54 miles an hour on, on the slower lap time. So my guess here is if we would brought it together on a point on that on that 124 lap, he would make that 123, maybe a high 122. So here is your benefit. You really can analyze what went wrong, what works, and where to go in the very next session. So, and again, QSTARS, uh, the, the units, the BTQ is very cheap to get, it's about $200. Uh, LTQ is about $500, but it's, it's worth it because it has that display and it shows you the lap times right away. Uh, the software is free, you can't have cheaper GPS analyzes as with QSTARS. Think about it.